God. I'm so glad to be back with you again today. Hallelujah. I believe it's Wednesday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Midweek. Somebody called it hump day. What kingdom key can I get uh, internalized that get me over this hump? Moving, praise God, to Thursday and Friday, going downhill, hallelujah, ready to embrace victory, leap over walls and, my God, excuse me, yeah, leap over walls and run through troops, praise God. Well, our kingdom key today is kingdom change, kingdom change. Have you ever felt the pressure of change to the point that it, that you just really rejected it because it seemed like it was going to force you to become something that you were not? It, it, the, the emphasis is, was that you lose your personality. I, I've gone through that. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I, I can rest assured, I, I can give you the assurance that you should rest assured that God is not interested in making you not who you are designed to be, but a better you. Praise God. Embrace change. Praise God. I, I like what uh, Apostle Ivy here you said years ago. When the pain of change becomes less than the pain of remaining the same, that's when we change. What is kingdom change? Kingdom change is correcting habits absolutely necessary for growth and excellence. Somebody said excellent or winning, victorious, successful people do what other people don't want to do. If you want success, you got to change some of the patterns and some of the uh, behavior you got right now. You've got to act praise God, out the process and follow the policies of success if you want to embrace it. Kingdom success. Kingdom change is correcting is corrections that create character by encouraging you to embrace your destiny, determining eventuality, summoning you by timely and intimate notifications, encouraging you to embrace your kingdom destiny for the expansion and the advancement of the kingdom of God and giving you the strength Praise God to help others experience the enjoyment of a kingdom lifestyle. There are three laws that govern kingdom change. Choices, variations, corrections, modifications, conclusions, transformations. The whole objective of change is to get you to be, to be, to be presented to the world as a kingdom modified individual. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse, 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. This is a progressive experience. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24, And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. To change from a kingdom standpoint, you are putting something on and removing something else. Colossians chapter 3, verse 10, And have put on the new man, which is renewed in, in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8, but now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Wow. Praise God. So you can see kingdom change really requires kingdom confidence. You can't embrace kingdom comp change without kingdom confidence. Kingdom confidence is courageous certainty coupled with constant efforts for kingdom expansion. Now, Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled that they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Well, a few moments with Jesus, a few days, weeks, months, and years with Jesus will create kingdom change. How many of us would crumble under the pressure of an entire body of people threatening us? This is the same Peter that denied Jesus, now demonstrating courage and confidence in spite of their threats. He maintains his commitment to his re relationship with the one who inspired his confidence, created his change. Peter has learned that the key to confidence is not self, but Christ. He says to those who would accuse him, I have allegiance to the one that you crucified. My commitment to the one that you disdain is unwavering in spite of your threats. Ooh, doesn't that sound like kingdom change? Praise God. Kingdom confidence, kingdom courage. My commitment I'm sorry, he boldly tells them that there is no salvation, deliverance, or freedom for men except by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It seems to me today that men are seeking honor from others for all the wrong reasons. Peter's steadfastness to his commitment produced a compliment, hallelujah, of his character change that could be seen even from his enemies. They said it was plain to see that he had been with Jesus. 
thought for today? True recognition of your character is only realized when your righteousness prevails. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.